Okay, right now we have a test tube filled with distilled water and one with starch solution. And we're going to add five drops of iodine to each one. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, now we're going to test for, test for sugar content in these test tubes. I'll have it graded. This is Benedict. It's a reagent that reacts with sugar. This is distilled water. We're going to put 10 drops of Benedict in the distilled water. Water mixed with sugar. 50% water, 50% sugar. We're going to put 10 drops of Benedict's in the sugar water. Okay, now we're going to let each test tube both at the same time soak in hot water for two minutes. Done! Now let's look at our test tubes. One of them is yellow and the other one's blue, just like it was when we started. That means that this one contained the sugar water because this one showed a reaction. This one was just the distilled water. It didn't react at all. Now we're experimenting with protein. This is the distilled water and this is the protein solution. We're going to put five drops of the pure edge. One, two, three, four, five. And now we wait for two minutes. Okay, so it's been two minutes. This is the distilled water, and it had no reaction because it's still the same. And you may not be able to see it, but this is a slight purple color, and this is the protein solution, which shows that it had a reaction to the burette. For this experiment, we have a mystery solution, and it could be a combination of any of the three marker molecules. First, we're going to test for starch using iodine. We're going to put five drops. But it seems like yellow and what other color did you want? And then we're going to wait for two minutes. So it's been two minutes, and you can tell it's a purple color, so there was a positive reaction for starch. We have to be sure to clean out our test tubes so we do not cross-contaminate. <laughs> Make sure you rinse it out. So after two minutes, you can tell that there is a negative reaction for protein. Don't forget to rinse out your test tube. Now we're going to test our mystery solution for sugar. We're going to add 10 drops of vinegar. And then we're going to put it in hot water for two minutes. So it doesn't look like there's any reaction because it stayed blue instead of turning yellow. So now we can confirm that this mystery solution only contains starch. Make sure that you clean out all of your test tubes before, between experiments and good luck on your lab!